Hello everyone, back to today's first video. We're going to have a look at the ECMWF 30 day ensemble uh, model for today's first video. So it could take us well into December uh, with the uh, extended ECMWF uh, via the Hungarian Met Office. So big thank you to them for supplying uh, these charts. So um, these are broken down to weekly peers. We can only show you temperature and precipitation on this. We can't show you uh, geopotential heights or mean sea level pressure unfortunately. Um, but from the temperature and precipitation, you can get a rough idea of what the model is uh, going to be forecasting in terms of the broad synoptic pattern. So I'll talk you through that in a moment, just to say that today's second video coming up on the homepage this afternoon, we'll have a look at the weather for the next week to 10 days uh, in detail with the GFSC, ECMDF and the GM. And then tonight we've got your 8th, I think we're up to update number 8, the 8th Christmas update uh, will be with you around 7pm this evening. We're going to start off, though, with the ECMWF 30-day uh, ensemble. So this is how uh, week one is looking. It's week uh, 47th of the year for 2018, but it's week one for our uh, forecast uh, period. So um, we find that for uh, week one in the forecast period, taking us from the 19th to the uh, 25th of uh, November. We've got quite a lot of cold temperature anomalies going on across Europe, actually. Um, got a swathe of uh, pretty cold temperature anomalies from uh, over here in the uh, east of Europe, around the border with uh, Western Russia going down in towards the Black Sea. And then they extend right way across the continent into uh, France, UK and Ireland as well. It's milder than average up in the far north of uh, Scandinavia. So you can broadly see what's happening there. We've got high pressure sitting up here and probably ridging over to there as well. And so on the southern side of that high pressure, you've got the cold air being pushed out of Russia and the uh, North Pole via easterly. Uh, winds. Then down across southern Europe, it's uh, quite a bit milder again. So through much of the central med actually coming out warmer than average there, pretty much warmer than average across most parts of southeastern Europe as well. There's a little bit of cooler stuff uh, around some parts of Greece, but generally the um, southeastern corner of the med looking quite warm. Spain and Portugal close to average up there. So uh, we've got a freeway split really in the weekend. Milder than average in the far very far north of Europe, then most of these central areas and out to the west uh, coming out uh, cooler than average. I mean, it goes milder than average again down in uh, southern Europe. Precipitation-wise, we see a proper north-south split for uh, precipitation in the week. And again, this is the precipitation only taking us from the 19th to 25th of November. Much drier than average across much of northern Europe. So particularly dry across Scandinavia. That's where we've got that big area of high pressure sitting, of course, in the weekend. Most parts of the UK and Ireland looking drier than average as well. A little bit wetter than average on the east coast. That's indicative of those uh, wintry showers coming across the North Sea into those eastern coastal areas, but generally Ireland and the UK looking drier than average. A little bit drier than average really across most of these central areas as well, but then we go down into southern Europe and it looks really quite wet, so we've got plenty of low pressure pushed down into the Mediterranean. Uh, so really right from the far west of the Med, over in Spain and Portugal, over towards the east, it looks generally uh, wetter than average. And there are some quite big anomalies as well there. Uh, for example, um, Italy, Corsica, Sardinia, some parts of Portugal, uh, and uh, down into the far southeast as well. Looking really uh, wet for those areas. So a proper, uh, a proper a sort of north-south split with high pressure in the north of Europe, low pressure in the south. One of those famous balancing acts that you get uh, in this kind of synop synoptic pattern. Right, we go through to week two, which is week 48 for the year. This takes us from the 26th of November to the uh, 2nd of December. And we can see that uh, the cold air just receding a little bit from the far west of Europe. So France, Spain and Portugal becoming milder than average there. Also going a little bit milder than average for Ireland. The UK um, going from being colder than average to close to average. So obviously some sort of warming is beginning to take place in the far west of Europe. 
No, it's colder than the average te uh, temperature anomalies are receding or being pushed back in towards the north. So Scandinavia is cooling down and going colder than average. Most parts of Central Europe, sort of uh, Central Eastern Germany, over towards Poland and then further east was on to Ukraine. Those areas, again, coming out uh, colder than average. And a bit of an east-west split in the Med as well. So western areas of the Med from Corsica, Sardinia, westwards are milder than average. But from Italy, eastwards, it's generally average to a little bit cold. Now, it looks like those colder than average temperature, temperature anomalies are sinking down into the southeast of Europe. So maybe it's starting to turn colder in the southeast around Greece and Turkey as it's beginning to turn milder. In the north and west, that again is another one of the balancing acts that you see quite a lot in the winter. Uh, and we see the reason that it's starting to turn milder in west of Europe with the precipitation anomalies. So um, after being very significantly dry and average in week one for the UK and for Ireland, it's actually starting to turn just that little bit wetter than average, especially for Ireland, England and Wales, Scotland still looks uh, rather dry than average there. Still dry than average over Scandinavia, so dry and cold uh, for much of Scandinavia. France, Spain, Portugal, uh, a little bit wetter than average there, drier than average in the central basin of the Med. And then most other parts of Europe, these central and eastern areas, are looking kind of average to possibly a little bit above average uh, with precipitation. It looks like it's turning more unsettled in the west of Europe. And then that takes us on into week uh, three, which is the 3rd to the 9th of December. Quite a big change then. Notice those blue colours are disappearing. They're being pushed right way back into the extreme east of Europe. So some of these uh, far eastern areas still looking a little bit colder than average. Cold average in western Russia as well. But basically Scandinavia and much of eastern Europe is going towards average temperature anomalies. And for the central and western areas, it's actually going quite milder than average. Quite a lot milder than average for the UK and Ireland. Quite a lot milder than average for France. There we've got the temperature normally going to between 3 and 6 degrees above average. Germany also looking milder than average along with the low countries. Uh, Spain, Portugal and most of the Med also uh, looking milder than average. So this is a much more, uh, a much milder week here. We have been forecast now by the ECMWF ensembles for the start of December. And also looking rather unsettled as well. Obviously, as we go further out, the precipitation anomalies are weakening. They always do. But what we're seeing is that uh, much of UK Ireland, much of uh, Northern France, much of Central Europe, all those areas are uh, tending to come out with slightly above average precipitation. And given it's week three, that's a reasonably strong signal, actually. So I think we can say we are seeing more unsettled conditions moving in from off the Atlantic. Scandinavia looks um, close to average up there. Most of the Med looking quite dry, so not too bad at all down down in the Mediterranean. And then finally, we go through to uh, week four, which is week 50 uh, for the year, getting very close towards the end of the year, uh, of course, then that's taking us from the uh, 10th through to the 16th of December, and still looking quite mild, actually. So this is a little bit of a surprise. I think quite a lot of people have been expecting uh, a fairly coldish um, start to December. But if this is right, we're facing quite a mild uh, first uh, first half to December. So not as mild as it is in week three, but nevertheless, still milder than average for the UK. But Ireland still milder than average much of France into Germany. Uh, some parts of Scandinavia are also looking a little bit milder than average as well. It looks like the coolest weather, but not cold, but the coolest weather to average is over in the east of Europe again. Uh, still a little bit cold and average there, for example, over towards the uh, border with Russia. But uh, generally, it does look as though fairly mildish conditions, particularly for central and western parts of the country, are being forecast here by the ECMWF for uh, the first half of December. Precipitation-wise, turning a bit drier in the west. It looks like high pressure is starting to re-exert itself again after that slightly more unsettled interlude right at the end of month. It looks like high pressure beginning to just start to uh, re-exert itself across uh, the UK, across France, across Spain and Portugal. Looks quite dry uh, through those regions. Otherwise, and again, that's quite a strong signal for week four, actually. Normally on week, weeks three and four, 
with precipitation with these charts, you just generally tend to see uh, loads of white. So the fact we're seeing a reasonably um, dry signal there for week four is uh, is quite a strong signal, actually. Uh, many century scenarios, again, coming out close to average with bare precipitation. So I think perhaps a little bit of a surprising update uh, from the ECMDF this month, uh, this week I should say, for the next month. We're certainly starting off cold, uh, and much of Europe is going to be cold for the rest of November. But it doesn't look like there's a change being forecast here for weeks three and four, with milder air moving in from off the Atlantic. And particularly the western parts of Europe, including the UK, it does look as though the first half of December could be quite mild. Now bear in mind these are highly experiment experimental uh, models, so they are prone to chopping and changing and unreliability. So we just have to wait and see uh, whether this verifies or not. But I would think most people would be a little bit surprised about the ECMDF showing such a strongly mild signal for the west uh, for the west of Europe through the first half of uh, December. Also, looks a little bit more unsettled in early December across western uh, parts of Europe as well. Right, so that's your uh, ECMDF 30-day look ahead for, uh, for this week. We'll do it all over again. Uh, next week, coming up uh, this afternoon, we're going to have your week to 10 day video update. I mean, tonight, as I say, we've got the latest Christmas update on the way. But that's all for now, and thanks for watching.